100 while we, likes. While we going over and discussing yeah. everything, you know what I mean? Where, we, where were we at yesterday, uh, last week? 170 or something? Or what? Uh, no, we hit 190 before. Okay, okay. 190, 194. 194. I like this, 194. I like, we I, up there. I still like this number. I still like this number. Salute to everybody. Um, yeah, so <laughs> with that said then, Bull, just because we're on this topic, Yeezy Red October versus Top 10 Off-White. Crazy's release date. Release date. I mean, <sighs> hmm. I'll, I'll give mine. I'll give mine since I can. In the in, 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 because I just wait, 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 wait. don't uh, give yours yet. Let me think. Let me ponder. Okay, you asked me, so let me think. All right, cool. The Red October Yeezy drop versus the full ten, yeah. the entire entirety of the ten Virgil drop. <laughs> ten shoes versus one. <laughs> I think that at the time, it, had, it might have to be the Red October, bro. I'll, we'll put a poll in with a chat, right? Well, we'll look, go ahead and we'll extend it to the chat real quick. Um, salute again, salute Ron, salute to the chat as always. It might have to be Red October because that was a drop that was completely out of the blue, bro. That was a real shock drop. <laughs> that was the real shock drop. Um, yeah, I might have to go with the Red October's, bro. It was just a different time. It was a different time. It was a different time. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to even vote on the poll. All right. I'm going to say, I think that I get it, but I think that I'm going to go with the 10. The reason mm -hmm. why I'm going to go with the 10 is because it's like you said, bro. That was an all-day process. All day. Back to back to... You didn't hit on this one? Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. That 10 came... Bro, I swear, boy, I feel like me and you might have been playing the game or something, or we were doing something. Like I was doing something, bro. It was too late for me to react. Mm -hmm. It was too late for me to react to the 10. I mean, to the to the Red October. Oh, yeah, the Yeezys just dropped out of nowhere. It was, I, I'm, only person I remember hitting was Scoop, 208. I remember he, apparently he hit. He's the one that posted uh, that. That's a good point. That's a good point. I, I My main point here is that, but, and we talked we talked about shock drops before, it's just that it was one of those things where it, it was a completely out of nowhere drop, which is something that we just don't get these days. Like, yo, it is too... Uh, two thirty-seven in the afternoon. It's sunny outside. Uh, sunny outside. I'm cutting the grass. My phone just vibrated, uh, and it says that the Air Yeezy Two Red October is now available. That does not exist anymore. I was about to say because we thought it was going to drop that October, and I see February 9th. It didn't even drop in October. I got February 9th, twenty fourteen. All of a sudden, your phone rings. You get an email. Your homie texts you, whatever the case may be. Maybe you got a Facebook now, group chat now message. Let me, now, <laughs> now, let me say this now, because I'm going to push this one, but I, 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 I'm I, using my brain cells and I'm trying to think. I want to say that this was going on, and as while this is going on, there was already the speculation of him going to Adidas. Because uh, Probably. Like, I think it was known he was going to go to Adidas eventually or whatever, when his, or his contract was ending, and that's why this came out. Let's see. When did Kanye Signed to Adidas. Yeah. February 14th. Adidas announced his partnership with Kanye West November 2013. Oh. I told you. I told you, Bull. I think they did that, and then that's what happened. That's crazy. So they dropped in 2014 when the deal was ending. And that was the last. And he was already moving over. Yes. And that's why it was like how it was. They hmm. had to do what they had to do. Adidas announced an endorsement deal with Kanye West in 2013. But yeah. And that first shoe came out in 2015, they saying. But somebody said shoe call orders used to be crazy. Damn. I remember that. I I remember when people talk about like, cause when the Yeezy one originally dropped, like that was before, before me really um, being really into sneakers. But I do remember. And when I see videos, people were saying that people were calling stores, trying to phone order them shit so they could get them the Yeezy one. Um, but uh, that is interesting though. Tony, Tony, uh, again, you got another comment. Tony, we're comparing Kanye's departure to Nike's. Uh, to Virgil's uh, introduction. I mean, it's, it, hey, listen, that's, man. That's, that's a, that's, Vir, Vir, I mean, that's a that, that's not a bad like. I mean, one's leaving, one's arriving. Virgil did had Virgil had us on the app for hours going after. He did. He had ten shoes though, bro. I won't discount that. He had ten banger sneakers. Ten. 
all drop on the same day, all sell out, same day. Here we go. This is the question I wanted to ask too, and this is the this is the, this is what I was kind of thinking. How the hell did they drop this shoe when he already signed? How would Nike release the Red October Yeezy two after Kanye joined with Adidas? That's what I was trying to say. I knew that was. I remember that. Um, back in twenty twelve months, sir. Month, huh? I say enlighten us. Oh, let me see. Dropping on February 19th, 2014, a Sunday of all days, the bull, mysterious, Nike timeout. Uh, 5, well, not the Red October, not the Red October before, but the Yeezy one was before I was into a heavy. Red October, that was definitely here. That was 2014. Let me see. Damn, that was Yeezy's time, bro. Yeah. That's crazy! Wow, that's I that those, those pictures just like you just remember, it, bro. This is I remember going to use this to. I remember the bull. mask. That's your Halloween costume, right yeah, there. Yeah, I, I did a Halloween costume, bro. That shit's like, oh, yeah, it's kind of iconic in my opinion. But you know, that's just me being a Kanye uh, music fan, artist fan. You know, wow, LeBron and in, in, in the the Yezers. It's a lot of damn Kendrick stuff. Kendrick Lamar man. and the Yezers. It's crazy how stuff, how fast stuff moves. Say, I feel like we're in a time. It's like a time capsule. <laughs> it yeah, was fucking yeah. eight years ago or yeah, nine time. years ago or whatever. It doesn't even say what the hell happened. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, I'm not. When, if you find it, you, you can definitely let me know. But I have no idea. I'm pretty sure there was some type of. Maybe the pain. fact. Maybe the fact these were they were already made, so there was this. It was you know it was like it's kind of like a. Like a uh, you got your album ready, but you know the you can move yeah, on, yeah, but they the gotta drop. Done. Yeah, the deal's done, but you're gonna move to this next one, and that drops under that label or something like that. So, you know, As a matter of fact, this. while we're while we're talking, we're taking a little a little trip down memory lane. Yeah, go ahead. If y'all if y'all would like to let us know when y'all got into sneakers heavy, y'all can let us know. Mine was back in 2012. I would say 2011, 2012. I always been into sneakers, but I wasn't really into into sneakers so I could actually buy my own shoes. You know what I mean? Like, I always liked them. I played a lot of basketball as a kid, but y'all, I just, just a little feeler for the chat if y'all want to throw in. Yo, I've been, you know, heavy, heavy in the shoes since blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, definitely let me know. Uh, Drone Nights, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I just remember that. Salute, salute, salute. So, yeah, uh, Yeezy won that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 61 to 39. I mean, hey, I mean, look, the red out. Now, if you're asking me what's the better, sh it's, I mean, that's hard. I get it. I get it. Because at the end of the day, it, let's put it this way, though, Bull. Let's put it. Let me. I, let's ask one more thing. What happens if Kanye goes back to Nike? He wouldn't. But what happens? Is it, does it still carry over? The world ends, bro. The world. It ends. It ends. The world ends. It ends. They got Travis Scott, Drake, and Ye. You have Travis Scott, Drake, and Kanye under one umbrella. Umbrella, and you could release. Now the problem is this is the problem though, Tony, because you know when he if he does go back to Nike, he's gonna want to carry that Adidas Yeezy DNA. He's that that kind of look that he was doing. Yeah. That shape that he was trying to do. Yeah. So that's gonna be the problem because the Yeezy one and the Yeezy two are totally different shoes. Of course, they're made years apart. Yeah. Than what he was doing at Adidas. So 